Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know, wherever you may be. The new CEP, Currency Exchange Planner, is a must-have for both pre- and post-RV exchange planning. The link is in the description panel below. Tell them that the denarian sent you so you get the extra pre-negotiated discount as my subscriber. Today is November 12, 2019. Know that today, we are one day closer to our goal than yesterday, and we all cross the finish line together. First Article of Interest UN Proposes Roadmap to Resolve Iraq Crisis 11th November 2019 Baghdad On Sunday, the UN issued the following statement on the crisis facing Iraq. Over the past weeks, demonstrations erupted in Baghdad and other governorates in Iraq. Protester demands cover a wide spectrum of issues, including economic growth and employment, reliable public services, prudent and impartial governance, an end to corruption, credible elections as well as broader reform of the political system, including amendments to the Constitution. An accumulation of frustrations about the lack of progress in the last 16 years is clearly perceptible, and with rising numbers of deaths and injured, both protesters and members of the Iraqi security forces, a climate of anger and fear has set in. The Iraqi people cannot afford to be held back by the past nor by partisan interests. Rising Hope asks for a leap forward, including the understanding that in today's digital age, daily life has moved online. Meanwhile, the risk of, spoilers, hijacking peaceful demonstrations is increasing and potentially derailing any attempt at genuine change. Time is therefore of the essence, as are tangible results. To start with, and following consultations with a wide range of Iraqi parties, actors and authorities, including the three presidencies, the Supreme Judicial Council, protesters and union representatives, the United Nations Assistance Mission for Iraq, UNAMI, proposes the following principles and measures. Principles. The following principles apply to all parties at all times. 1. Protect the right to life above all. 2. Guarantee the right to peaceful assembly, demonstration and freedom of expression, as granted in the Constitution. 3. Practice maximum restraint in the handling of the protests, including no use of live ammunition, and the improper use of non-lethal devices, such as tear gas canisters. 4. Deliver full accountability for perpetrators and redress for victims. 5. Act in keeping with the law, including in regard to public and private properties. Measures. Immediate measures. Less than a week. Include. 1. Release all peaceful demonstrators detained since 1 October, in accordance with the law. 2. No peaceful demonstrators shall be targeted. 3. Initiate full investigation of cases of abduction including by making available CCTV footage, and reveal the identity of those responsible. 4. Accelerate the identification and prosecution of those responsible for targeting demonstrators. 5. Prosecute and punish those responsible for the excessive use of force and or other violent acts, in accordance with the law. 6. Publicly call on all regional and international parties not to interfere in Iraq's internal affairs, respecting its sovereignty. Short-term measures, within one week to two weeks, include 1. Electoral reform, with the technical support of the UN, a single legal framework shall be finalized. Soon after, the framework shall be submitted to the Council of Representatives, CORE. The parliamentary procedure shall be completed as soon as possible. 2. Security sector reform, Executive Order 237 shall be fully implemented without delay. Any weapons outside state control shall be prohibited. Any outlaw armed entity or rogue element shall be considered illegal and it is the state's responsibility to take them on. 3. Corruption. The political elite shall lead by example for instance by publicly declaring their assets at home and abroad, held under their own name or another. Additionally, political parties slash blocs and movements shall abolish their economic committees. Medium-term measures, within one to three months, include 1. 
Constitution. With the technical support of the UN, the Constitutional Review Committee shall continue its work. Any amendment to the Constitution shall be put to referendum by the people of Iraq. 2. Corruption. The Commission of Integrity shall submit corruption cases to the High Judicial Council or the Central Anti-Corruption Court. The Central Anti-Corruption Court shall handle corruption cases at all levels of the state. All corrupt officials will be held accountable and prosecuted. 3. Enactment of Laws The government shall send the following draft laws to the Corps, and the Corps shall complete its due process as soon as possible. A. Uh, the law addressing the principle. Where did you get this from? B. The Federal Court Law. C. The Social Security Law. D. Law on Resolving the Housing Crisis. E. The Oil and Gas. Hydrocarbon. Law. F. Amending the Law on Encouraging Investments in Public-Private Sector Partnership. G. The Council of Ministers and Ministries Law. H. The Reconstruction Council Law. Next article of interest. Urgent Blaskart. Time for Iraqi authorities to implement what protesters demand and stop violence immediately. 2019 to 11th November 1318. Najaf Ware, Special Representative of the Secretary General of the United Nations Janine Hens Blachart that it is time for the Iraqi authorities to implement what the demonstrators demand, while calling for to stop the violence immediately. We have given advice to the Iraqi government and it is time to offer something to the people, she said at a press conference in Najaf after meeting with the Supreme Religious Authority, Ali al-Sistani. It should not be an arena for political liquidation because there is news from all sides, she said, calling on the government to investigate where the tear gas came from. The Mariea expressed concern about the lack of seriousness of the political forces to carry out reforms, and stressed that the demonstrators can only return with the reforms. However, if the political forces and presidencies are incapable and do not want to make reconciliation, we must take another path, pointing out that the reference point stressed the need not to use violence against peaceful demonstrators and stop arrests and abductions immediately and the need for reforms. The Marie welcomed our proposal for a unified election law, she said. Next article of interest. Source of the Presidency of the Republic. The latter completed the new election law. 2019 to 11 to 11 Baghdad. A source in the Presidency of the Republic, on Monday, that the presidency has completed the draft new election law, while noting that the bill will reduce the number of deputies to about 30%. The source said that the presidency, with the help of a team of Iraqi experts and representatives of the United Nations, completed the new draft electoral law, noting that the law is to reconstitute the electoral commission of the judiciary and experts away from partisan quotas. He added that the law will reduce the number of the House of Representatives by about 30 percent and reduce the age of candidacy to 25 years and the adoption of the highest voice in the electoral districts, noting that the Prime Minister also has a draft election law. He continued that the draft prepared from the presidency to the government because of the financial obligations, adding that there are consultations to unify the vision on the law in preparation for submission to the House of Representatives. Next article of interest. Iraqi Americans in El Kajan plead for international support of Iraqi protesters. Monday, November 11, 2019 El Kajan, California. More than a hundred people gathered in El Kajan on Sunday to support ongoing anti-government protests in Iraq. Iraqis have taken to the streets in Baghdad and other cities in recent weeks to denounce what they see as an illegitimate and corrupt government installed after the U.S. invasion in 2003. Iraqi security forces responded with a brutal crackdown, using live ammunition, tear gas and stun grenades on protesters. More than 300 people have died and 15,000 others wounded since the protests began last month according to the Independent High Commission of Human Rights for Iraq. We, the Iraqi American community, unite our voices with the valiant youth uprising, Wedad Shlot, the vice president of the San Diego chapter of the American Arab Anti-Discrimination Committee, told the crowd. We hear, 
plead to the United Nations, our elected politicians, lawmakers and the international community as a whole to pressure the Iraqi community to stop the bloodshed and listen to the demands of the peaceful demonstrators. Much of Shlata's family still lives in Iraq. The rally called for international bodies and the United States to step up their efforts to stop the violence, while also asking that a new generation of politicians take over in Baghdad. Some protesters held signs with smudged red paint that said, Iraq is bleeding, and calling for the United States to end its silence on the violence in Iraq. Amar Kampanayar, who grew up in El Kajan and is currently running for Congress in the 50th District, attended the rally to show support for Iraqi Americans. He described the protests as being in response to rampant corruption. It hits home for so many people in the community because there are many Iraqi American citizens who have folks back home who are suffering right now. And it's heartbreaking to witness that, said Kampanayar. They feel powerless. More articles of interest to come. Don't forget to hit that like and the subscribe button and check out the new CEP, Currency Exchange Planner, a must-have for both pre- and post-RV exchange planning. The link is in the description panel below. Be sure to tell them that the Denarian sent you so you get the extra pre-negotiated discount as my subscriber. I encourage you, knowledge is power, stay informed and stay alert. Over and out for now, the Denarian.